Hello foodies, this is your girl Mala coming to you from the fabulous Mala's Kitchen to yours, coming right there to you in your living rooms. This today is an introduction video of a guide that I'm actually doing for our new Facebook group. And in this particular guide, it's my take on all the must-have tools and certain types of gadgets that I think you should have in your kitchen. So today we'll be talking about three items, or rather tools, in your arsenal that you should have in your kitchen. We've got uh, the mortar and pestle, which is in two versions. We have a Mexican version, which is called a mocajate or a mocajate, which is the larger one. And we have a smaller version, which is in marble, which is the mushroom style. And that big old block over there that looks like a big piece of stone, well, that's called a silbata or rather a masala brick. So let's get started. Alrighty foodies, so as promised in our guide about absolute must-have tools in your kitchen, here's my take. I'm gonna start with a, the mortar and pestle, right? This, the large one is called a mopejate because it's Mexican, that's a Mexican word for it. And of course, here I have a smaller version, which is basically it done in marble. I've already added some spices in here to it. And pretty much here's what happens. For the first one here, what you do is you pretty much, as you add the spices, you pound. So pound, pound, pound away until you get your desired consistency. And as you can see, as I'm pounding, it is becoming a fine powder. And that's all it takes into using. And that's all it takes basically to use this beautiful tool. So the more you keep pounding, the finer your powder or your spice mix will be. Using the smaller version, I've added some coriander and some cumin seeds to this. I've already started to pound it. So what you can do, again, take this piece, you see, mushroom style, right? Pound it like that and then you can pretty much hold it use some arm muscles give it a little bit of a spin like that and as you can see it's changing right but it takes some patience keep doing that and now you're probably wondering well she's got a big piece of stone on that countertop what is that thingy majig well it's called a masala brick and this once belonged to my great grandmother my great nanny and it was handed down to my nanny, which is my mom's mom, then to my mom, and now to me. I've added here a bit of spices, which I've been using in each of these three to show you. And I'm gonna show you how you use this. You've got this kind of pestle here, which I believe is called a warha. And you pretty much hold this with both hands like this and put some muscles into that and you keep grinding the spice just like that. But of course, be careful as you're grinding and you should probably put like a wet towel under here so that it doesn't move around on your countertop. But basically you get the idea. As you can see, it does the job really well. You get a nice fine powder. So for certain things, I would use a mortar and pestle, a mokajate. Smaller amounts, I'll use the mushroom version of this. And for bigger versions like curries and whatnot, I actually think, um, to be honest, old school style, like my mom and my grandma did it, fantastic. And that's what I'll be using for quite a bit. This particular piece is called a silbata in Hindi and in the South, I believe it's called an Amikalu or an Amikal. Usually in the South, you will find a lot of people using this particular stone for grinding spices. And in the North, pretty much a lot of people use this mainly for chutneys, like pudina chutneys, etc. Guys, once again, thank you for watching. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. Have yourself a fantastic day. Love you guys. Mwah. Thank you.